cloudy afternoon and a very warm welcome to the black hole uh, today we are going to explore how stoic philosophy can help one find inner strength and resilience and hence the title of today's talk is conquer your mind with the power of stoicism uh, so we are going to learn how to master one's thoughts and emotions and head towards personal growth and fulfillment while battling adversities in life we are very grateful to our speaker mere daaye janib tashreef farma hai altmush khan atish he is the former lead game designer of the game storm studios and absol logics moreover he has worked on over 100 apps for android ios and pc lekin aaj ki mauzu ki munasabat se ye batana barmahal hoga ki philosophy old school or ancient wisdom jo hai wo aapki dilchaspi ke mauzuat hain aur aaj ki नशस्त में आप अपना हौसले मुताले और नतीजा फ़िक्र हमारे सामने रखेंगे हम ख्वाहिशमंद होते हैं कि हमारे सेशन में जो ऑडियंस है उसकी भी शमूलियत हो वो भी गुफ्तु में शर्क हो एंड टुडे सेशन इज़ गोइंग टू बी एन इंटरेक्टिव वन उसके लिए प्लीज़ अपना हाथ पहले बुलंद कीजिएगा ताकि आपको ये माइक माइक्रोफोन दे दिया जाए और आपकी आवाज़ जो है वो ऑनलाइन ऑडियंस तक भी जा सके लेकिन उससे पहले छोटा सा काम कीजिएगा कि प्लीज़ अपने सेल फोन जो है वो साइलेंट मोड में कर दें सो दैट देर इज़ नो डिस्ट्रेक्शन बस यही थी दो तीन बातें आपकी आमद का शुक्रिया प्लीज वेलकम अल्तमश खान आतिश थैंक यू ओके सो वी हियर बिकॉज वी वांट टू कॉन्कर आवर माइंड व्हाट डज दैट मीन व्हाट डज माइंड मीन एंड व्हाट डज द माइंड डू व्हाट इज इट एक्चुअली हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू बिलीव दैट यू नीड टू कॉन्कर योर माइंड रेज योर हैंड ओके सो why why do you think you need to conquer your mind what is bothering you currently what are the things that are bothering you anybody do main bataunga jaise dimag mein hum match dekhte hain to commentary chal rahi hoti hai aise ek commentary hamare dimag mein chal rahi hoti hai to usko conquer karna all right so that's the thing you have to understand that your brain loves to We were having some technical difficulties over here. What the, what the hell happened? Okay. So your brain is basically loves to think. Your brain loves to think. Am I correct? Your brain loves to think. What happens when it doesn't have anything to think about? It tries to make up things to think about, doesn't it? It does, right? So what is the main problem with the brain? It loves to think. What can you do about it? What can you do about it? According to the Stoics, you can control your thoughts. What does that mean? You can control your thoughts. Does anybody know what does it mean to control your thoughts? Anybody? I think to control the things which I never controlled. Okay, anybody else? To decide to I mean decide what to think? Yes, exactly. That is what the Stoics say. It's up to you what you want to think about. Most people do not understand that. You see, when you start worrying about something, it usually leads to worrying about that thing more than required. Seneca said one suffers more than necessary who suffers before it's necessary He said that so what does that mean it means that your brain is something an organ that loves to think the people that conquer their minds are the ones who know what to think about and to what extent but there's a small problem the brain always will ask you to think about things that it wants what it thinks are the best for you and sometimes they might not be you conquer your mind first stoics according to stoics is by taking control of your thoughts and what you want your brain to think about because if you do not think about that if you do not train your mind to do that what will happen is it will continue to grab things from there grab things from there and then what it will do is 
it will make you worry. When it has nothing to think about, it's going to worry about things that are not even there. And that is a problem. How many of us believe that being free, too free, leads to negative thinking? How many believe that? If you're too free, you'll start thinking about negative things. So why is that? Okay, what if I tell you to stop breathing, can you? Yeah, for a while, but eventually you will, right? The brain cannot stop thinking. So the first thing is you have to understand the brain, to conquer the brain. Understand its limitation. It wants to think. Now it's up to you what you want it to think. And it's up to you to tell it when to stop thinking for a while, just like you can stop breathing for a while. You can, you can stop it thinking for a while. So what happens when you stop thinking for a while? Then another thing happens. As soon as you stop thinking, your brain gets worried about, what should I think about now? Hmm, how about something positive? So at least if I think about something positive, I can think more of that and this person is not going to tell me to shut up. You know? Have you ever thought about this thing that if you tell your brain to stop thinking, your brain would be, your brain self would be worried. It would be like, hey, this person is just stopping me from thinking. What do I have to think about? So let me think I want to think, you know? That's the thing. Your brain loves to think, just give it positive things to think about. And also meaningful things. Let's say you want to apply for a job. Okay, you can think about that. Mm, okay, so I'm applying for a job. What if I apply for the job and start worrying about, oh no, whether I'll get the job or not. Will I get the job? Will I get the job? What happens if I don't get the job? Okay, is that in your control? Is getting that job in your control or is in the control of the people that you've sent them to? So should you think about that? What happens if you think about getting the job too much? What happens? What, what, what happens? Anybody? What happens if you think about getting the job and worry about getting the job or not? What happens? Uh, you get anxious. Yes, you get anxious. Why do you get anxious? Why do you get anxious? Because that's not in your control. That is not in your control. Exactly. So if you have applied for a job, what are the things that are in your control at that time? After you've applied for a job. Just a question. You can just prepare for the job. And when you prepare for the job, what do you think about most of the time? What is the thought process when you're, when you're preparing for the job? Is, assuming that they call you for an interview, what will you do? Still in the back side of your mind, you're still thinking that, what if I don't get the job? All right, let's say you expect that you will not get the job, right? You're, what is the thing that you can do? Like, if you have applied for the job, if you have applied for the job, what is the most positive thing that you can do during that time period? Let's say, let's assume that you will never get called for an interview, but what is the thing that you can tell your brain to do which will have a positive impact on your life? What will that be? Remain hopeful? No, hope, hope, hope according to the Stoics, is, is an, it creates expectations. They don't recommend that. You can wish for it. Uh, let go with detachment. Yeah. I'd say prepare. I'd say Stoics would say, okay, you have applied for a job. What can you do during that time which will make sure that once you're called for an interview, you'll get it? Your brain will have something to think about. Search for another. Searching, oh, that's brilliant thing, searching for another. Because you'll be working on something positive. So you'll be working on something positive. And you can also prepare for the best outcome. Expect the worst outcome, prepare for the best outcome. That is one way, because your brain will always, always think about the negative outcome more than the positive outcome, unless you stop it from thinking about the negative outcome. And what you, can you do? You can tell your brain, listen, we will definitely not get this job, but I would like you to prepare in case we get the interview or another interview will prepare that will be useful and useful in the future you know so we are preparing for the future whatever it might be we are ready we are ready so this brings me to point number one that Marcus Aurelius said whenever you wake up expect everything bad to happen in your life that you can think about expect expect everything bad to happen and regarding other people people are negative People are arrogant, people will say things to you that you don't like. Expect that because they don't know what right and wrong is. Just expect that everybody you meet, 
Everybody you meet has the potential to harm you. So what happens if I tell you every single thing that you thought about that you will do today, you will fail? What will you do then? You will not get hurt. Yes, but what happens, what happens when I tell you that what you are about to do, you will definitely fail in that? What is your response? You will try not to fail, maybe? No, you'll definitely fail. What will happen? I'll just stop worrying about it. You'll stop worrying about it because your brain likes certainty. Your brain will accept unhappiness over uncertainty. Remember that. The Stoics said that. The Stoics even said that. Uncertainty. Your brain doesn't like uncertainty. It will choose to be the unhappy. You, you, it will choose unhappiness over uncertainty every single time. Every single time. So your problem, your brain's problem is that it doesn't like things that are not certain. So if I tell you that you will wake up in the morning and everything bad is going to happen to you. What will, what will you think about then? You will think about this. Okay, fine. I'll, I will most likely fail in everything that I'll do. What can I salvage from that? I have, okay, so I'll fail. What can I do today, which is in my power, even if I have to fail? What can I do? To face can, it positively. To face it positively, exactly. What can I do to face that failure positively? So if you know that you are about to fail, you have to build up an arsenal to take that failure head on. It, it's very, I mean, in boxing, you know that you, are, that you are a few rounds out. Why don't boxers, good boxers, give up? Why don't they do that? They're like, let's save whatever we can. They have a purpose. They still have a purpose in failure. There was this story about uh, this guy who was about to be executed. And uh, he knew that he, would, he, would, he was falsely accused. Won't go in detail, but what he was doing is he was basically, uh, because he was, he was basically a Christian, so he started preaching people about the afterlife. That was his purpose until he was executed. He made his execution less miserable. Why? Because he had a purpose. Till the very end, he was talking about the afterlife and about how We'll have another chance, and about the next wall, they, he gave people hope. Now, what happens when you give people hope? What happens when you give people and uh, the 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 illusion, let's say, that there that the next thing after this is going to be better than what you have right now? What happens when you do that? What happens if I tell you, don't worry, there's another thing coming? For you, what's going to happen under under the good thing that's coming? What 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 happens? What is your thought process? If if like, let's say I tell you today that uh, this thing you'll fail in, but there's another opportunity waiting for you. What's the thought process then? Gives me peace. Gives me you don't try to be obsessed with this life alone. Yeah, exactly. Don't be obsessed, and there's another opportunity. So what happens when? the brain thinks about the other opportunity. Become happy? Hmm? They try to do their best as possible as they could in this life. Uh, no, what happens is, is that when you... Uh, I think we are not just talking about this life. It's just an example. Example, like opportunity. So, you know? like it, it could be job or anything. Any opportunity that's coming your way, whatever... Uh, how, however bad your present is, it's, it's, it's like uh, thinking of something better that might come up. But, uh, it makes the present less bitter. Yes, exactly. It makes the present less bitter. That, that, that's the thing. It makes the present less bitter and you think, uh, think about the next thing. You start wishing for the next thing to present itself. Never hope. Wish for it to happen. So, the first step to conquering your mind is always to expect Things to fail, prepare for the good outcome. Expect things to fail, but prepare for the good outcome in case it might happen. That way, even if failure is going to be, if failure is inevitable, at least you'll fail less miserably. So another thing that I would like you to do from now on is to plan your day ahead. 
so that there is a, some amount of certainty. You create some, an amount of certainty when you plan your day. I'm not telling you to be organized. I'm telling you to make the next day less miserable and purposeful. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to do this. If you've already told your brain we are going to do this, you'll not have time to think about things that, that will worry it. You'll not have time to do that. Make your life more purposeful. The purpose, even if your purpose is to just enjoy a football match, if you've planned for that, enjoy to the full, prepare your brain for it and tell it to shut up. Just tell it to shut up. This is what you'll do. You're not going to make me guilty about enjoying life. Your purpose can also be to enjoy life. But you have to train your brain to absolutely be in the moment and enjoy. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to fully enjoy that moment. Plan your day ahead so you create an amount of certainty. I'm not saying to be organized or just you'll be more productive. No, I'm not talking about productivity. I'm talking about certainty. I'm talking about make things certain. And yes, it is true that if you plan your day, let's say, and something wrong can happen during that time, but you have done your job, you, 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 you will rest satisfied that you did what you could to make the next day more predictable. <coughs> That's the thing. Okay, so what does it mean to focus on the things that you can control? What does that mean? What does that mean? Because there are some things which are out of in our control. All right. Please. She said emotions. Uh, well, it reminds me of one saying of General Montgomery. He was talking to his officers and he said, doesn't matter, I think they have uh, done something. Uh, oh, can we be heard now? Okay, can we be heard? Okay, uh, he, says, he said that uh, he was talking to his officers and he said, what do you think is the most important and the least important thing in a battle? Uh, they, they, they gave various, uh, uh, whatever, uh, uh, they, they, they gave various inputs like, I mean, this, this may be important, that might may be important. Uh, he said, that his reply was, the most unimportant thing in a battle is the outcome of the battle. Most unimportant thing is the outcome of the battle. The, the most important thing is how well you fought. That's the most important thing. Anybody else? Again, he spoke about the outcome, so anybody else who wants to, wants to talk, uh, say anything about what does it mean to be, what does it mean to focus on the things that you can control? What does it mean? The, the things in which we can give our efforts. Yeah. Like there are some things which are in, not in our control, like our destiny or something else, which uh, the nature has given us already. So yeah. by thinking that we can't control that, Right. So it's in vain to think about that. So we need to focus on the things which are in which we can give efforts, which we can choose what we can do. Actually, yeah, you're absolutely correct. The the story that was just uh, that was just told, it it is basically what it means to focus on the things that you can control. The weapons that you have right now, the weapons that you're equipped with. It's up to you how you use them. The outcome doesn't matter. You can try your best. But sometimes, trying your best is not enough. People say try your best and leave the results. Just don't worry about the results. That's not really a good way of saying things. What you should do is try, say, just change this. Try your best with what's given to you and see what happens. What does that mean? Try your best with the weapons that you have right now and then see what happens. Anybody? Uh, perhaps the sphere of your control grows with time. I mean, the, the tools you have right now may grow with time when you exercise them rightly. What I can pattern from it. Actually, the tool you have right now is your present. You can control your present. So, just uh, forget the past and the future. 
But going to the Stoics, what it what me what means it that see what happens is that the outcome can be anything. It's not necessary for you to succeed. When you use things that are, uh, when you start using the weapons that are in your control to see what happens, you don't focus on the outcome. You're too busy trying to use the things that you have, and th therefore you remove the element of thinking about the outcome. And that's important. I'm not thinking about fear. I'm saying both success and failure. Don't think about them. So, what does it mean to have a life of purpose? Anybody can anybody explain what does it mean to have a purposeful or a meaningful life? What does it mean? I was expecting nobody to answer though, because it's this been an answer that it hasn't been. Okay, let me tell you. Let me tell you uh, what what Stoics would do. The list that you've created tonight, and put put on some some board or stored it on your mobile. That's the purpose of tomorrow, and that's it. Can you repeat? Yeah, y write your goals for tomorrow. Right when you wake up, that's your purpose. That's your purpose for the day. Does it simplify things? So it's living just for a day, at a time. Yeah, at the just end. The, yeah, at the, the end. Day. At the end of the day, the at the end of the day, right? And uh, on the list, you have to create another list. Okay. So you get along by doing it day by day. Yeah. It's not every month or in case some cases one year. So sir, basically, the stoic self don't have a, like a long term goal. No, I'm just simplifying things. I'm not saying that you should do this. I'm saying that. Is it fair for me to say that if you create a list of things to do and tomorrow when you wake up you say this is the purpose of today, is it fair? Does it simplify things? Yes. yes. Now expand that to 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. It's as simple as that. I think you need a greater schema in which you have to work. It's not just as simple as a day yes. or two or three. Yeah, of course you it's not. You need to have a universal meaning of life. Oh, yes, universal meaning of life. Yeah, you must have a religious meaning as well. I mean, religion in terms of what you believe in. Yeah, of course, you, you should. Must have belief. But doesn't it simplify life when you know what you're going to do or at least attempt to do the next day? It does. It does, it does. It does. But for the most people, it's not sufficient, I guess. Uh, most people haven't tried. I mean, how many people do you know who have tried? Uh, sometimes I, uh, I know that uh, people who have depression, for instance, it's just not as simple as that for them. They of course need it's some not. greater motivation to get Of course it's not. Depression, depression is a disease. But uh, it's it, 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 it has to be treated. Yeah, it has to be. We are here to conquer our mind. You know? mm -hmm. Depression, sadness, uh, suicidal thoughts, those need treatment. Yeah. What's the core of that? The it core starts with not being able to control your mind. Well, a depression, if it's you due to, if, to yeah, if depression is due to a clinical problem, it's not due to you conquering your mind. We like, all in our lives tend to go through depressive, sad phases. Yes. It doesn't make us diseased individuals. No, no, no. I'm talking about the disease depression. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm not referring to that. Okay. Nor did he. Yeah. Uh, as the re understand. yes, the reason why you're sad is mainly because you can't conquer your mind or your thoughts are not uh, basically you're thinking about things that make you sad. Essential, ba essentially, you are sad because you're thinking about things that make you sad. Yeah. That's fair, yeah. right? Now, the Stoics also believe that external circumstances should not cause anything. Uh, should not basically. You should not be sad because something external is making you sad. That's, that's what the Stoics believe. And about the simplification, what th this is just the simplification of that, of that um, plan your day, one day, one day, move one day. This is a simplification, of course, not everybody can do it. But it gives you an idea. It gives you an idea of what purpose is. Meaningful, whether what you're doing is meaningful, that's a different story. That other people will tell you whether you, what you're doing is meaningful or not. Because they're going to kind of like you for what you're doing if, 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 if you're doing something meaningful. 
or they'll start questioning you or for some reason you'll be saying like hmm this person they did not really they were not like this why are they giving me so much attention like you 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 you'll see that when you start doing meaningful things when you start let's say you go to the store and you go with a positive mind and you are just uh, and you, and you your thoughts are positive sometimes you'll even see the per people that you are speaking to treat you in a different way in a better way you'll see that especially when you're living a purposeful life you'll it'll you'll be able to express that how i do not know how that works but it works just like we do not know about many other things like what dark energy is okay one thing that i would like to tell you everybody over here a reality you're going to die all of us are going to die and things change remembrance of death is a core principle of stoicism remembrance of that remember that all things are going to end just don't worry so much everything is going to just be done you're worrying about things look at the universe the universe right so big what are we just a few, few human races a few years the universe is so large you're insignificant think about that for a second think about your worries how insignificant your worries are compared to the compared to the universe and think about that for a second and then realize how how weird it is that you're worrying about things how weird it is when there there are so many people probably more talented than you probably or or maybe they are struggling more than you if you remember that everything is going to die everyone that you know is going to die will give you a sense of peace because people say that death is the great equalizer what i'd say is remember death and appreciate every single moment that you're spending here every single moment because the more you worry the more um, time you've wasted then the more life you've wasted so remember that and also have a healthy fear towards death when you start having a healthy fear towards death what happens is that you are very very stingy you become stingy with your time so stingy that if a worry comes you just slap it and say no i don't have time for you you know just learn how to slap worry and say i don't have time for you mate i'm going to die in 40 years you know how 40 years how little how, i mean 40 years is nothing i'm going to die in 50 years are you asking me to worry dude do you think i have time to this to slap the hell out of worry you say what the hell why right things pass by quickly now most of you have gone through uh, i assume most of you have gone through problems in life don't they go by like that once once good times start do you remember does it look like they went by like that has anybody ever experienced it yes. that when bad times after bad times when good times start after a few years you look back at them and they're like i was really worried about those things they passed has that, has that ever happened to to anybody so things pass you know things pass and then you look look at those things like a bad dream some people even forget like you ask them oh you've been through i i i have no friends that when i speak to them i say oh, you've gone through hard times and difficult times and they were like yeah we did yeah like what hard times exactly so they forget and it's you have to keep reminding yourself that hard times first of all the reason why you don't uh, you are the way you are right now let's say you've gone through hell the reason why you're here and still sane and still being able to communicate is communicate is because those you do not think about those hard times a lot because if you did you would definitely be depressed and sad you would definitely not be able to function properly if you keep remembering the hard times that have forgot that that are in the past you will not be able to function properly think about that for a second if all of the things that went wrong in your life be dumped in your brain at once and you were you were to think about them you'll probably end up in a mental breakdown So the reason why you don't think about those bad times or you forget about them is because those those memories are buried by other memories that that are being created by your brain. And that's how the brain works. So so you conquer your mind by telling your mind that hey, 
you know these things that you're thinking about are going to get buried after 10 years, right? So the brain is going to say, yeah, they will be. So say, yeah, so how about we bury them right now? How does that sound? Okay. Okay, so destiny should not concern you, uh, but how you react to fate and the things that are happening, they actually, those are the things that you need to, you know, think about. So let's say there was this hunter, who was, was the hunter's name? Keith Anderson. Keith Anderson, yeah. Keith Anderson basically was, uh, was a hunter and he basically, it was kind of his destiny to be bit by a snake for just a while, you can say. It, it could have been a destiny, but he didn't worry about it. What happened was that he was in his tent, very, very famous uh, hunter. He was lying down and um, he had a blanket and uh, a snake just somehow made it to his tent and uh, then the snake took up its position I do not know what that position is called it was cobra and he woke up he was telling this in a bar or some other place I, I don't remember where it was but uh, so they asked him the people around him were you ever scared in life and he said yeah there was once I was sleeping and a snake just was on my chest and I was sleeping and I woke up and I saw the snake ready to basically bite me and uh, and that, that he ended the story right there. And the people were like, then, well, then what happened? So I said, well, I just went back to sleep. I was like, damn it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to basically just, uh, you know, uh, sacrifice my sleep for the mere possibility that the snake is going to bite me. My sleep is important. Similarly, there was this guy who was being chased by this lion. And it was, could, could have been in his destiny to be eaten by a lion, so he jumped into a well without looking how deep the well was. That's the first mistake. Well, then again, if a lion is chasing you, I don't think you'll be, have enough time to look at how deep the well is, will you? Anyway, so he jumped into a well, and it was deep. So when he jumped into it, he realized that this well is deep. So he grabbed onto a branch that was for some reason at that particular time very near and when he grabbed the branch he looked down and there were snakes in the well not only was the well deep it had snakes in the well now another thing I did to destiny was that if he goes down there he's going to be bitten by the snakes okay so as long as he keeps hanging, he's going to be fine, right? Well, then a mouse started to appear. He's like, oh, this is a nice situation. How about I start eating the branch that this guy is in, that, that, that this guy is hanging on? And that guy was like, damn, I'm in a very tough situation here. So if I keep hanging, the mouse is going to eat the branch. I'm going to fall down, be eaten by the snakes. I can't climb up because there is a gi giant lion that wishes to eat me. Like, damn, I'm screwed, really. So, what happened was that, that that well had a tree, and on that tree there was this big honeycomb. And honey was dripping from that. Right? Honey was dripping from that. And the honey started falling on the person's face. So what he did was, he opened his mouth and he started enjoying the honey. He said, damn it, I'm going to die, why, why not just enjoy and then die, right? So the lion got desperate during that time and he was still hanging, the mouse was still eating, the snakes were still there. And he was like enjoying himself, he was like, yeah, I'm going to die. Better make, better make my last, you know, la last moments a little bit meaningful by just enjoying the honey, the raw honey, the taste of raw honey. The lion got desperate, tried to reach for that person. Now the lion obviously did not know that... Uh, had he waited, I mean, of course, he was, he was hungry. He knew that if, if he falls down, he's not going to be, uh, the lion will not be able to get that person. So the lion lunged into the well. And he probably did not, uh, did not, uh, did not know what balance is, the lion. Probably did not, probably did not attend physics classes. So he fell into the well, broke its neck. And then that man could climb up the well and he was fine. Basically, he waited it out. He was, he was unconcerned. He showed indifference to what, to what destiny had in store for him. And he escaped. So, to conquer your minds, show indifference. 
to whatever is going on, the things that might turn up against you. Because even according to Taoism, Taoism and all of these, uh, our Taoism has something called Wu Wei, the art of effortless action. And also says that if you're indifferent to something, and even Stoics have got an entire, entire category of something they call indifference, the more indifference you show, the more the other things get desperate to attack you and they end up making a mistake. And of course, there, there's no, like, it isn't scientifically proven, but that, it, it happens. I do not know why it happens, but it happens. Okay? So, another thing that you have to ask yourself is, are the things that you're worried about really that bad? Are they? Like, there was this uh, freelancer who asked me uh, this question, and I was like, do not reduce your prices. Stay at $3,000. And he got an offer for $1,000. And I told him not to accept the job. So he said, well, I'm a little bit desperate. I told him, well, before that phone call arrived, were you making life work or not? Were you? I mean, before, the one, before that $1,000 offer, were you making it work? So what makes you think that after you reject that call, you will not be able to li make life work. So what happened was that after two months, he got the job at $3,000, not from another client, but he waited it out because if he started at $1,000, it would have taken him a long time to get to $2,000 because people would be like, if he has worked, with, worked, worked at this rate, he will be able to work at that rate for a considerable amount of time. So that's the thing. You are making life work. Some of the things that you're worrying about, you're worrying about because you want to improve life. That's, that's, that's something that you have to tell yourself in, immediately. You want to improve life. You're fine the way you are, but you want to improve life. But if improving life means that you are going to absolutely destroy your present, it's not worth it. Then improve life steadily or at a slower rate, but don't let it destroy your life. Don't let it destroy your current situation because if that happens, then you'll not only ruin your life right now, you will also ruin whatever chance is in front of you because you won't be able to think properly to get opportunities if they present themselves. That's what the Stoics at least, uh, that's what they say. Okay, another question that I have to ask you. Now, just you can close your eyes and think about this if, if you're going through this. Are you suffering more than necessary about anything? Just ask yourself this question. Are you suffering more than necessary about anything? If, if, you, if you think about something that's worrying you, just raise your hand if you think you're suffering more than necessary. Not at all, but sometimes, yes, of course, it happens with us. All right. But it happens sometimes. Hmm. So, give me any logical reason why you should suffer more than necessary. As in, if you know that this is a situation in front of you, is it okay to suffer about things that may happen after that situation has passed? Is it fair? No, it's not, right? So stop your mind from suffering unnecessarily. Suffer as much as you have to. Don't increase it by creating these imaginary things that probably will not happen. Of course, you can, uh, you can uh, like, um, think about these things that, oh, what's going to happen after 10 years? That's fine. You can. It's okay to suffer about things that can happen after 10 years. However, if for some reason... You think it is illogical to think about what will happen after 11 years, then just keep it to 10 years. Don't think about the 11th year. Logical, your suffering should even be logical, right? If, if, you have, if you want to plan ahead for five years, have some logic behind it because you will suffer, you will think about things, what will happen during those five years. Don't think about the sixth one. Just suffer as much as, as, as is necessary. Don't, don't, don't do that. Just, Keep your misery to a minimum. Because when I, when I presented this idea, I was like, people are, I will give them ideas about how they can conquer their mind and how they can, you know, uh, train themselves to suffer less. Nobody, Stoicism never promised happiness. Stoicism only said, 
that we'll make life less miserable if you apply our principles. And that's it. That's real, more realistic. Okay. So if you can't, if you, if, if you're like, uh, if you're in a, in a situation where, you know, you can't do anything, just let fate lead you. It's going to lead you somewhere, even if it's, it's your demise, let's say. Just instead of crying and crying about it, if instead of crying, okay, I'm being taken to be executed. Right, you are. What's, what are you going to do? How do you, is, your, is your crying or anything going to stop you from being executed, let's say? Or let's say, uh, for some reason, the place that you live in now has no food and water. Is crying about it going to help you? Or is probably thinking about how you can escape the situation help you? Of course, you might fail. You might not be able to, you know. Yeah, please. Yeah, the the the, the, yeah. the other yeah. So you can plan about things, but if they're not like, let's if fate does not have that in store for you, just accept it. I mean, yes, it is true that you may consider yourself a very important person, and you are you are basically a human being, and every human being has value. But also know that human beings die and in very uh, in very miserable ways, and. A lot of people die in very miserable ways and they unfortunately fate. Some people die with diseases and they, uh, if some people are born with diseases which, are, which make their life probably more miserable than death. So unfortunately, unfortunately, sometimes you will be Challenged by fate, and fate might lead you to your demise. Just smile when you're going to your, go, going. Even even, in the, even if death comes to you, hey, say hi, death. What's up? How are you doing? How's the work? Death is going to be say that, that. You're the first person who's asked me this. How's, how's work? Just ask him. Ask death. How's work? How, how are things? How, how? Yeah, just ask them. At least you don't. Want, at least when death comes, you don't have to pay him anything for the trip. So how can you stop thinking? As soon as your brain, th brain says, hey, hey, you know what, this is going to happen, just say shut up. Like literally, it's that, it's that easy, just say shut up. Just shut up. I'm, I'll deal with it later, I'm playing or I'm doing something, I'm cooking, I'm cutting onions or, I, I mean, I've got other things to worry about. Just learn how to tell your brain to shut up. It's, it's, it'll take a little, bit, a little bit of time. It's gonna, if you say shut up, I guarantee you in the next four seconds, it's going to start thinking about something again, tell it to shut up again. Just say shut up. Just shut up. Just, just shut up. Just, just buzz off. Just, just, uh, just. Uh, your brain has a voice. I'm pretty sure all of you have a voice in your brain, right? It tells you, "Hi ye oga, hi wo oga, ye oga, ye cheese ogi." Just, just shut up, man. Just, just shut up. Just stop bothering me. Don't you have anything better to do? All right. Okay. So I already covered this. The brain is a thinking machine. Give it. Uh, in order to conquer your mind. You have to give it things which are positive and it'll, it'll just wants to think. Your brain wants to think. Just, just if it's thinking about something, just tell it to come here, think about this instead. Don't think about this. Think about this because this is going to make both of us feel happy. And you, unfortunately, are in my head. You will do what I'll, I'll tell you to do. You, it's not going to be the other way around, okay? That's the deal. Otherwise, I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to say bad things to you when, if, if there is an afterlife. I'm going to basically tell God that you made my life miserable. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Okay, so again, do not worry about more than what's required, really. That's, that's basically the end. Just don't worry about more than, more than what is required. If, you're, if, if, you, if, you're, if, you, if you unfortunately get fired from your job, and if you have um, one month of sustenance, let's say, then worry about how you can... Um, basically cut your expenses down immediately to make it last one and a half months so you'll get more time. Don't worry about, uh, I mean, you should worry about getting a job, but your more thought process, the thought process should be, if I have one month of sustenance, then what can I do with that one month of sustenance to make my life less miserable? That's it. Thank you very much. We are moving to the Q&A. Uh, my question is, what is the difference between existentialism and stoicism? 
مجھے ایکسٹینشلزم کا اتنا پتہ نہیں ہے میں تو اسٹڈی نہیں کیا اس کیونکہ وہ بھی اس پہ زیادہ فوکس کرتے ہیں کہ آپ کو اپنی ویلیوز خود بلڈ کرنی چاہیے اور ناہلزم سے کیسے اپنے آپ کو بچانا چاہیے کس سے کیا بتانا بچانا چاہیے ناہلزم جو ہے میننگ لیسنس مجھے یہ پتہ ہے کہ جارڈن پیٹرس نے ایکزسٹینشل لسٹ اپنے آپ کو کہتا ہے مجھے صرف یہ پتہ ہے میں نے اس کو کبھی اسٹڈی نہیں کیا لیکن جو جیسے کہ ناہلزم حالانکہ ناہلزم جو تھی وہ بیسکلی آرٹس اور شوپن ہاوا کہنے ادھر سے اسٹارٹ ہوئی تھی ویسے تو لوگ اس کو کہتے ہیں نیچر کو کہتے ہیں کہ وہ وہ نالس تھا ایکچولی ڈیٹشے کی تنقید رہی ہے اسٹوکس پہ بہت زیادہ جی اسٹوکس پہ بہت زیادہ تنقید بھی رہی ہے ہاں وہ اس نے کی تھی وہ جو نیچے نے کی تھی بہت زیادہ کی تھی اس نے وہ نیچر کی اس کی تھی نا بات کی وہ اسٹوری کیونکہ یہ تھنگس کے جب آپ انٹلیکچولی آپ تھنک کر رہے ہوتے ہیں یا سوچ رہے ہوتے ہیں یا ٹروتھ کی جانب جا رہے ہوتے ہیں تو اس میں بہت زیادہ اعتمال اس چیز کا ہوتا ہے کہ آپ ڈسٹوٹیڈ تھاٹس سے بھی آپ کا پالا پڑے گا اس قسم کی آگے پیچھے تو آپ اپنے آپ کو اسٹوائک جیسے اسٹوائکس اپنے آپ کو بالکل ایک سمت میں چلانے کی کوشش کر رہے ہوتے ہیں جتنا مجھے سمجھ میں آیا اچھا آج تک بھی لوگ سمجھتے ہیں کہ وہ بدلزم سے اس کو کنفیوز کر دیتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے زیادہ تر جو لوگ ہیں نا وہ کہتے ہیں کہ ڈیٹیچمنٹ کا ڈیٹیچمنٹ ہے کہ اسٹوئسزم از اباؤٹ ڈیٹیچمنٹ فرام کافی لوگ ایسا سمجھتے ہیں کہ اموشن سے ڈیٹیچمنٹ ہے یا ایک ہی اس کی ڈائریکشن ہے ایسی بات نہیں ہے اسٹوئکس سمجھتے ہیں اس بات کو کہ اگر آپ جیسے کہ اوبر میچ کا جو کانسیپٹ تھا نیچا کا اسٹوئکس ایکچولی کہتے ہیں کہ اگر آپ اچھے انسان ہیں آپ کو زیادہ بلکہ آپ کو کوشش کرنی چاہیے سوشل اسٹیٹس کے اندر کلائم کرنا کیونکہ اگر آپ اچھے ہیں تو آپ دوسروں کے ساتھ اچھا کریں گے یعنی کہ وہ سمجھتے ہیں اس چیز کو کہ آپ کو آپ کے پاس پاور ایکچولی ہونی چاہیے وہ بس یہ کہتے ہیں کہ ابسیشن نہیں ہونی چاہیے بیسکلی سینیسزم اور سوسزم میں فرق یہ تھا نا کہ ان ڈفرینس جو تھے ان کے کہ یہ پیسے پیسے کے پیچھے بھاگنا یا یہ جو یعنی کہ لو لائف اپنی ٹھیک کرنا یہ ان ڈفرینس کے اندر آتا تھا سینکس کہتے تھے بالکل ہی یعنی کہ ان سے ڈیٹیچ ہو جاؤ کہ پیسوں کے پیچھے بالکل بھی نہیں بھاگنا لو لائف بالکل بھی نہیں آپ کی ہونی چاہیے اسٹوریکس کا یہ ہر چیز ماڈریشن میں ہونی چاہیے ہر چیز اس طرح ہونی چاہیے کہ کہیں کہیں یہ نہ ہو کہ آپ اس کے پیچھے اتنا زیادہ بھاگیں کہ آپ جو ہے وہ اپنی کرنٹ لائف کو ڈسٹرائی کر دیں جہاں تک ایکسٹینشلزم کی بات ہے میں اس کو اسٹڈی ایکچولی نہیں اتنا زیادہ کیا ہے لیکن اسٹوئسزم میں بھی کسی حد تک نائلزم ہے اس کے اندر یہ ہے کہ یہ یعنی کہ لائف جو ہے کسی حد تک میننگ لیس وہ سمجھتے ہیں کہ ہے کہ آپ کو خود میننگ جو ہے وہ یہ میننگ جو ہے آپ کو ایڈ کرنا ہے اور وہ یہ سمجھتے ہیں کہ ایک 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 جو اسٹوک فلاسفرز یہ بھی کہتے ہیں کہ لائف از میننگ لیس دیٹ از دا ریزن وائی وی آر رسپانسبل فار دا گڈ دیٹ وی کین ڈو آل آف دا گڈ دیٹ وی کین ڈو وی شوڈ ڈو بیکاز لائف از میننگ لیس یہ بھی ایک کچھ اسٹوک فلاسفرز کہتے ہیں تو ایگزٹ انفارچونیٹلی میں آپ کا اسٹین اس سوال کا جواب دے سکتا کیونکہ مجھے ایگزٹینشلزم کا اتنا پتہ نہیں ہے تو اٹ ول بی لائک شکریہ تھینک یو جتنے فلاسفیز ہیں انکلوڈنگ ریلیجس فلاسفیز وہ لائف کو ایک ڈیفینیشن میں لے کے آتے ہیں اگر ہم ریلیجس فلاسفی کی بات کریں تو وہ کہتے ہیں کہ جی لائف ایک امتحان ہے ایک ٹیسٹ ہے اس کے بعد ایک آفٹر لائف اور سم ٹائمس یہ بھی ہمیں کہا جاتا ہے کہ وہ آفٹر لائف زیادہ امپورٹنٹ ہے تو یہ جو اسٹوکس ہیں ان کا ظاہر ہے ایک لائف گزارنے کے اوپر یہ بات کرتے ہیں اور اس کو جوڑتے ہیں اچھی سوچ سے آپ اچھا سوچیں گے بہتر سوچیں گے تو آپ کی لائف اچھی گزرے گی بٹ واٹ اباؤٹ دا لائف اٹ سیلف اچھا اسٹوکس جو ہے نا وہ بیسکلی لائف کو جو انہوں نے کوئی اس کا ڈائریکٹ وہ نہیں کہا ہے کہ ڈائریکٹلی انہوں نے ایسی کوئی بات نہیں کی ہے کہ لائف کی یعنی کہ لائف کا پرپز یا لائف کیا ہے وہ یہ کہتے ہیں کہ یہ جو ساری جو چیزیں ہیں اٹس پارٹ آف نیچر انہوں نے بس یہ کہا کہ نیچر ہے کہ لائف لائف از نیچر یعنی کہ لائف از اے کانسیکوینس آف نیچر آف دا آف دا سسٹم آف تھنگس ان کی بھی دیٹس واٹ دے بلیو لائک اٹس لائک یو آر بورن بیکاز اٹ ہیپن یعنی کہ لیکن ویسے ان کا کوئی ایسی بات ایسا کی نہیں ہے کہ لائف کا پرپز کیا ہے یا کیا نہیں ہے وہ یہ بھی ویلیوز بھی وہ صرف یہ یہ ریکمینڈ کرتے ہیں کہ جو ان کے جو فور اسٹوک پرنسپلس ہیں ان کے ان کے اوپر انسان کو زیادہ غور کرنا چاہیے تو اس سے جو ہے وہ لائف لیس مزریبل ہوگی وہ یہ نہیں کہتے کہ آپ کی تھاٹس جو آپ کی لائف اچھی بنا دیں گی وہ یہ کہتے ہیں کہ آپ کی اچھی تھاٹس لیس مزریبل بنائیں گی یہ فرق ہے اسٹوریز اسٹوریز میں
Sir, uh, what are the most uh, famous books regarding Stoicism everybody should read? And, and secondly, do you have any idea who and to where this Stoicism have started? Yes, uh, Zeno started it, I do not remember which year, but Zeno was the Greek philosopher who started it. I believe it was because they, uh, they, uh, they, he did not like cynicism. I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't read, uh, I mean, I did read, but I don't remember it properly. So Zeno started it, and it was, uh, the reason why it's called Stoicism was because the, where, where Zeno used to teach his students, that place was called Sto. So they became Stoics, and then it became Stoicism. All right. And uh, books, Letters from a Stoic, which is by Seneca, and Meditations, which is by Marcus Aurelius. Meditation by Marcus Aurelius. Yes. Sir, जहाँ तक मैंने थोड़ा बहुत पढ़ा है स्टोसिज्म के बारे में, उसमें से एक चीज़ ये भी है कि आप इमोशनली जो है वो इतना एक्सप्रेसिव ना हो, भले कोई अच्छी चीज़ आए तो इतना कोई खुश होने की ज़रूरत नहीं है, ना ही जो आप इतना कोई अगर कोई बुरी चीज़ आ जाए तो उसपे उदास होने की ज़रूरत है। doesn't that make you sort of cold person? आप फिर बाकी लोगों के साथ जो कहते हैं कि आप शेयर करें वरीज ठीक है आप लोगों के साथ टच में आएं इमोशनल एक्सप्रेशन करेंगे तो आप जो है ना समाज में आएंगे और बाकी जो लोग आप साथ रिलेट कर पाएंगे तो ये कितना मुश्किल है कि स्टोइक के लिए ये चीज़ डील करना on one hand to be in uh, stay in connection with the people on other hand keeping it to your own self yeah it's actually the ये बाज़ है ये मीम है it's a meme ये मीम में बल है जिसकी वजह से किया गया था स्टोइक्स कहते हैं कि सिर्फ आपके इमोशंस आपको अफेक्ट नहीं करनी चाहिए आपकी थिंकिंग को अफेक्ट नहीं करना चाहिए आपको 100 परसेंट ये जो प्लेटो है वो अच्छा खासा रोमांटिक इंसान था बहुत रोमांटिक था ठीक है वो बेसिकली ये जो स्टोइक्स की स्टोइक्स की जो स्टोइसिज्म का जो मसला हुआ है कि लोगों ने ना इसको बुद्धिज्म के साथ बहुत ज़्यादा कन्फ्यूज कर दिया ठीक है वो ये कहते हैं कि जो स्टोइक्स हैं इमोशनल रोबोट्स होते हैं ऐसी बात नहीं है वो सिर्फ ये कहते हैं कि अपने आपको ट्रेन करो इस तरह ताकि आप अपनी ताकि आप जो हैं वो ट्रेनिंग का हिस्सा है आपके कि आप जो हैं वो अच्छी चीज़ों को और बुरी चीज़ों को एग्जैक्टली exactly वैसी सेम सेम तरह ट्रीट करो उनका बेसिकली कहने का मतलब ये था कि अच्छी चीज़ हो फाइन इट हैपन बुरी चीज़ हो फाइन इट हैपन ये चीज़ थी उनकी ये जो आजकल जो स्टोइक्स के बारे में जो बन गया दैट्स एक्चुअली ए मीम वो द, ये बात सही नहीं है क्योंकि काफ़ी दफ़ा स्टोइक्स ने एंगर का भी इजहार किया है जो एरिस्टोटल वॉज एन एग्जैक्टली स्टोइक लेकिन काफ़ी इन्फ्लुंस था उनसे उसने अलेक्जेंडर को कह दिया था कि पूरी दुनिया फतेह करो ठीक है सैनिका ने जो लेटर्स लिखे थे उसके अंदर अपनी अम्मी से प्यार का इजहार किया था ठीक है तो ये ऐसी बात नहीं कि वो इमोशनलेस होते हैं वो एक मीम है बेसिकली वो सिर्फ स्टोइसिज्म को कूल दिखाने के लिए था कि वो बेसिकली कैसे होते हैं क्योंकि ये बात वैसे सच है कि स्टोइक्स कहते हैं कि ऐसा इंसान को होना चाहिए कि उसके ऊपर आके पत्थर भी यानी कि पहाड़ भी फेंक दो तो वो आ तक ना करें Basically, ये बात है, ये बात है। वो इट्स अ मीम, इट्स अ मीम स्टोरी। People have got a wrong concept of stoicism. It's uh, they say that uh, they say that you should be detached. Although the actual thing is that you should be detached from things that are that are uh, that have no meaning. Like there, you should be indifferent to them. If they are there, fine. If not, then fine. Um, sir, question ये कि आपने कहा था कि how to control your thought. तो हम लोग तो अपने थॉट्स को कंट्रोल नहीं कर सकते लेकिन हम पॉजिटिव सोच सकते मतलब कि सोच सकते हैं ना लेकिन आपने कहा कि हम लोगों का जो ब्रेन है वो बहुत वाइज है हम मतलब करते हैं कि ये होगा वो होगा है ना आपने कहा था लेकिन हम लोग अक्सर सोचते यही है कि मतलब कि क्या होगा और क्या होगा लेकिन हम लोग इसे कंट्रोल नहीं कर सकते तो हम लोग ऐसा क्या करना होता है इसे कंट्रोल कर सकते उसकी वजह यह कि मैं अगर आपको कहूँगा कि देखें आप कंट्रोल इसको कर सकते हैं उसकी वजह यह है कि अगर फर्ज करें कि मैं आपको कहूं कि आप किसी चीज नेगेटिव चीज के बारे में कह रही हैं ठीक है कह रही हैं तो क्या होता है कि अगर आपको कोई अच्छा दोस्त होगा वो आपको टॉपिक चेंज करने की कोशिश करेगा अगर वो अच्छा दोस्त होगा अगर क्योंकि दोस्त अमूमन इट यूर लकी इफ यू फाइंड अ गुड फ्रेंड वो किसी तरीके से आपकी थाट प्रोसेस को चेंज कर देगा ठीक है थाट प्रोसेस वो जो नेगेटिव थिंकिंग है उसको चेंज कर देते हैं वो कैसे करते हैं बाय स्लोली स्टडली मेनिपुलेटिंग यू इन टू थिंकिंग अबाउट अदर थिंग्स Not by distractions. Distractions are a terrible way. I think distractions in some people's life are not necessary. Because when that negative thought comes back, it comes from another side. So what do they do? They take positive things from that side. So if another person can do it, you have to train yourself to do this. For this reason, if your thought is negative, the negative thought is positive. The negative thought is positive. The negative thought is positive. 
تو آپ اسے پازیٹیو تھاٹ سے بیری کیسے کر سکتے ہیں یہ ہر کسی انسان کا ڈفرینٹ میتھڈ ہوتا ہے لیکن اس کی سمپل سی بات ہے ایک چیز یہ ہے کہ آپ سوچیں جس چیز کے بارے میں آپ سوچ رہی ہیں وہ ایکچولی شاید اتنی بری ہے نہیں جتنا کہ آپ سوچ رہی ہیں سب سے لیکن مطلب کہ سر آپ نے کہا برین جو ہے وہ مطلب کہ یہ کہ یہ ہوگا وہ ہوگا تو ہم لوگ یہ زیادہ سوچتے بھی مطلب کہ ہوگا وہ ضرورت سے زیادہ سوچتے ہیں نا دیکھیں ایک وقت آپ کو سوچنا چاہیے کہ ہاں یہ ہوگا اس سے زیادہ اور کیا ہوگا شاید اس کی ابھی ضرورت نہیں ہے آپ آپ جب وزڈم جب آپ اسٹوکس جو ہیں وزڈم کے بارے میں بہت زیادہ کہتے ہیں نا وہ کہتے ہیں سوچو ضرور چیزیں جو کہ خراب ہیں ضرورت سے زیادہ نہ سوچو یعنی کہ ابھی بس اتنے ادھر تک ہی ٹھیک ہے یعنی کہ فرض کریں کہ آپ کو فرض کریں کہ آپ کے امتحان ہیں آپ ان امتحان کے بارے میں فکر کرو اس سے اگلے امتحان کے بارے میں فکر کرنے کی ابھی کیا ضرورت ہے نہیں مطلب کہ کچھ لوگ مطلب کہ کہتے ہیں کہ مطلب کہ فیوچر مطلب کہ کچھ لوگ کے پرابلمس مطلب کہ ہوتی ہے کہ آپ اسٹڈی کرو اور مطلب کہ اپنے فیوچر کو بناؤ مطلب کہ مطلب کہ کوشش کرو یہ کرو مطلب کہ ہم لوگ پھر وہ لے کے تھے کہ وہ لے کر آتے کہ مطلب کہ مجھے تو یہ بننا ہے اور یہ کرنا ہم لوگ بہت سے سوچتے ہیں اور یہ کیوں نہیں مطلب کہ بہت زیادہ سوچ لیتے ہیں اور مطلب کہ میرا فیوچر کیا ہوگا اگر میں نے یہ نہیں پڑھا اور وہ نہیں کیا اور میرے ساتھ کیا ہوگا اگر میں نے یہ ایگزام فیل کیا تو میرے مطلب کہ ہم لوگ ہاں تو غلط سوچتے ہیں نا بھائی اگر فرض کیا آپ نے ڈاکٹر بنا اب ابھی کیا کر سکتے ہیں ڈاکٹر ڈاکٹر کی طرف یعنی کہ اس اس ڈائریکشن میں جانے کے لیے اگر آپ اپنا کچھ کر رہے ہیں جو بھی آپ کر رہے ہیں ڈاکٹر بننے کے لیے فرض کریں کیا آپ کا یہ جو آپ کر رہے ہیں امتحان پاس کر رہے ہیں یا ایڈمیشن لے رہے ہیں اس سے زیادہ سمجھ اس سے زیادہ اس کے بارے میں فکر کرنا کیا لاجیکل ہے ہم مجھے خود ہی بتائیں کہ اگر جو آپ کے پاس اس وہ اب وہ چیز آئی ہی نہیں ہے ہاں آپ کو پتہ ہے کہ اس امتحان کے بعد یہ امتحان ہوگا کیا کبھی آپ نے اس چیز کے بارے میں فکر کی ہے کہ اس کا سلیبس کیا ہے یا تو مجھے اس کی پہلے سے پریپریشن کر دینی چاہیے کبھی ایسا ہوا میں مطلب کہ جب کوئی ایگزام ہوتا ہے نا تو میں ان کے بارے میں مطلب سوچتی ہوں کہ مطلب کہ میں مجھے کیسے کرنا ہے اور تیاری کیسی کرنی ہے لیکن میں مطلب کہ یہ سوچتی ہوں کہ اگر میں نے کیا اور فیل ہو گئی یا یہ ہوا تو تب ہم لوگ تو مزید بھی سوچنا چاہیے کہ ہاں تو آپ فیل ہو سکتی ہیں لیکن اگر فرض کریں کہ آپ نے آپ کی تیاری جتنی آپ کر سکتی اتنی اتنی آپ نے کر لی ہے اگر آپ اگر آپ فیل ہو گئی تو فیل ہو گئی یعنی کہ یعنی کہ ٹھیک ہے نا آپ نے اپنی تو پوری کر لی ہے کوشش اپنی کوشش پوری کرنے کے بعد بندہ کیا کر سکتا ہے آپ آپ مجھے خود ہی بتائیں کہ لاجکلی آپ جو آپ کے سامنے جو تیاری ہے اس کے علاوہ آپ کر کیا سکتی ہیں سوچتے زیادہ سوچنے سے کیا ہوگا یعنی کہ اگر آپ نے پورا کا پورا کر لیا ہے تیاری آپ کی تیاری آپ نے فل کر لی ہے اس کے بعد آپ کر کیا سکتی ہیں مجھے بس یہ بتا دیں آؤٹ کم تو آپ کے ہاتھ میں نہیں ہے یعنی فرض کریں کہ آپ نے اپنی طرف سے تیاری اچھی کی ہے لیکن کسی وجہ سے جو ایگزامنر اس کا موڈ خراب تھا اس کے بارے میں تو آپ کچھ بھی نہیں کر سکتی چھوٹ تو ہو سکتی ہے مطلب مطلب کہ دے ہارٹ ہو سکتے ہیں نا مطلب کہ پھر یہ مطلب کہ ہم لوگوں کے مطلب سوچ پھر ہم لوگ سوچتے ہیں پھر نگیٹو تھاٹ لے کر آتے ہیں پھر کہ یہ کیوں ہوا وہ کیوں ہوا ہاں وہ تو ہوتی ہے ہونی بھی چاہیے لیکن بات اس میں یہ کہ ہاں ہرٹ ہوتا ہے انسان ٹھیک ہے تو اگر آپ ہرٹ ہوئی ہیں تو کیا کر سکتی ہیں کہ وہ کوشش کریں اگر آپ ہرٹ ہوئی ہیں اس چیز کو کیسے بہتر کیا جا سکتا ہے اپنے آپ کو کیسے بہتر کیا جا سکتا ہے کہ دوبارہ بندہ نہ ہرٹ ہو اگر پھر بھی ہو پھر ریوائز کرے انسان کہ اس کو اپنے آپ کو کیسے بہتر کیا جا سکتا ہے کہ پھر ہرٹ نہ ہو لائف ایسی یہی چیز ہے بس اس چیز کا کہ لوگ جب ہرٹ ہوتے ہیں تو ان کا جو ریکوری پروسیس ہوتا ہے کچھ لوگوں کا ایک ہفتہ ہوتا ہے کچھ لوگوں کا ایک مہینہ ہوتا ہے اسٹوریز کا ایک دن ہوتا ہے یا کچھ گھنٹے ہوتے ہیں کہ بس ہو گیا صحیح ہے ٹھیک ہے ہو گیا اب کیا ہم نے تو اپنی پوری کوشش کی تھی نا کیا زیادہ زیادہ کیا ہوگا چالیس سال پچاس سال بعد میں مر جانا بات ہو تو اگر اپارچونیٹی صرف ایک ہی ہوتی پھر تو بس گئی ختم بس اب میں مجھے بھی زندگی میں ایک ہی دفعہ اپارچونیٹیز آئی تھیں کبھی بار 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 بھی آئی تھیں اور اور میں نے جو ہے وہ لائن کے اندر میں نے ایسی اپارچونیٹیز کو مس کیا ہے کہ اب میں سوچتا ہوں کہ میں کیوں ان اپارچونیٹیز کو مس کیا بس کر دیا بھائی I'm one in eight billion. What's wrong? What's wrong? I mean, uh, 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 all the things that I mean, all the all the things that I mean, all the things that I mean, that they're all prosperous, the human race will be extinct probably one day. It's not that big of a deal. Take it easy. Enjoy what you have. Live life. Smile. Have some biryani with raita. And perhaps some achar. After this. Yeah.
control what you can and ignore the rest and that leads me to a very famous saying that is known as prayer for serenity aapki nazar se guzri hogi grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change the courage to change the things i can and wisdom to know the difference ye to isko to mera khayal hai ek ek sadi hui hogi is quotation ko samne aaye hue lekin jo stoic wisdom hai ye to koi 2000 baras pehle yahi baat apne rang mein keh raha hai is it slightly old very slightly hmm hmm but zara us jo cheeze aap change nahi kar sakte jo aapke ikhtiyar mein nahi hai us pe mazid soch ke kya aap apna khun jalane wali baat hai hmm but to know the difference ke kya main change kar sakta hu aur kya main nahi kar sakta hu that needs wisdom yeah anyone else aap मुझे उनका नाम तो याद नहीं जिंदगी की क्या कीमत हो सकती है जिस जो जिंदगी का पहला तजर्बा है खुद यही जिंदगी है इसकी इंग्लिश में शायद आप लोग बता सकते हैं कि वट दिल मैंने यही बोल दिया जी जिंदगी क्या कीमत हो सकती है जो कि जिंदगी का पहला तजर्बा खुद यही जिंदगी है देखिए आपके कंट्रोल में है कि आप सवाल जो सवाल पूछ सकते हैं अच्छा आई वांटेड यू टू कमेंट ऑन द बोर्डम थिंग बिकॉज हमारा जो थॉट पैटर्न है हम जब भी फ्लक्स में रहते हैं जब भी काम करते रहते हैं तो हम उस वक्त देर आर हाई चांसेस वी आर वी आर पॉजिटिव वी आर मोर प्रोडक्टिव लेकिन जब आप थाट प्रोसेस को एंड कर दें ओके यू आर सिटिंग फ्री there are higher chances that you're going to get negative thoughts you're going to get unnecessary thought there's mm-hmm. a lot of background noise at that point mm-hmm. of time theek hai how to address that and is still have that silence time because we cannot function all the time we cannot be hyperactive all the time yeah. but how about having a peaceful calm time yeah without having this you know how to conquer your mind at very much <coughs> that point of time बिकॉज उस वक्त आपको कोई नीड कोई थॉट नेसेसरी करने की भी जरूरत नहीं है समटाइम्स इट्स जस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टू हैव दैट काम टाइम टू योर सेल्फ वॉट टू डू एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम हाउ टू बी ओके विद द बोर्ड समथिंगनाइट देखिए ना असल में पता है क्या बात है आपको अपने आप को इंस्पायर करना होता है यू शू समाइम्स यू हैव टू बी योर इंस्पिरेशन इफ देर इज नो बड़ी एल्स टू टेल दिस टू यू यू वॉन्ट टू बी एट पीस so you can be better at what you're doing in the future that should be your inspiration you see you have to train this you have to basically tell yourself and it's not it's not that when you are free aap jo ho wo ek to baat hai ki maine jo aaj aaj kal jo problem in fact mai i'll i'll explain uh, explain why i think that stoicism has kind of helped me if you're thinking about meaningful things you'll not, never get bored meaningful things and purposeful things if you have those you never get bored first kare ki main free time mein bhi jab main leta hota hu to main sirf ye soch raha hu tum guys i am a programmer i am a game developer main soch raha hu ki acha maine jo ye cheez ki thi kya main isko agar is tarike se karta shayad agle din jo hai main ye code ko idhar se idhar leke aaunga to shayad ye jo hai behtar function karega boredom ke andar bhi kuch na kuch main ek meaningful cheez soch raha hu jiski wajah se negative cheeze nahi mere zehn mein aa rahi hoti uske alawa jahan tak nothingness ki baat hai ki you want to enter a state of nothingness uske liye training chahiye hoti hai jo rogan ke ek 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 jo rogan ki podcast ke andar ek aaya tha insaan jisne ye kaha tha ki jab wo nothingness ki state mein jata hai then he can just like uh, he basically uh, and he tells his mind to shut just completely turn off he kind of starts floating in the air like that 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 happens like he feels high without actually taking any drugs you have to train yourself for that but then you have to listen people say that uh, i i do not know uh, whether this is the uh, this is true for you people think that when they're not doing anything they are being useless sometimes they they think that right and uh, the reason why negative things uh negative things are uh, negative things at that time happen because people are not trained to enjoy boredom there's also a thing that you can actually enjoy boredom there's a thing you can enjoy just lying down doing nothing after uh, after working hard just lie down 
enjoy that enjoy the, enjoy have the have have this enjoy this moment that you have a ceiling that you're underneath the bed the, the bed is comfortable probably just uh, have this ASMR there are ASMR videos that you can watch or ASMR sounds like the sound of a fan blowing will be sounds or thing put them in your ear relaxing sounds or you can what you can do is you can basically have this this thought in your brain create an imagination that you're that you're lying down and that bed is inside of a spaceship with that with that with that sound to avoid break a cheek feeling hoti hai because you're at that time you're relaxing aap kabhi par ye bhi kar sakte hain ki you can imagine yourself being in let's say a futuristic five star spaceship aur uski sounds aap wo laga sakte hain uske andar there are many ways to enjoy boredom you know being be be doing nothing and just enjoying enjoy, being in an imaginary world where everything is fine everybody's smiling everybody is uh, everybody is successful and stuff you know those kind of things when you start enjoying those things uh, uh, manifesting things you'll be fine but uh, you have to train yourself to enjoy boredom it's not it's not going to happen overnight yeah. in fact uh, i enjoy boredom a lot main to kehta hu ki bahut zyada cheeze zehn mein chal rahi hoti hai mujhe jab mujhe koi time milta hai peace ka i'm like हाँ इससे बेहतर कोई चीज़ नहीं है काश एक एक हज़ार साल तक मैं और कर सकता होता समटाइम्स दैट दैट हैपन्स इट्स इट्स डिफिकल्ट यू हैव ट्रेन योरसेल्फ सर हाउ डज यू प्रैक्टिस स्टोइसिज्म इन योर डेली लाइफ एंड हाउ डज इट हेल्प्स यू स्टोइसिज्म इट हेल्प्स मी इन अ लॉट ऑफ वेज कैन यू नेवर इट डाउन यानी कि क्योंकि मैं तो I mean, to say, come back to I mean to say that uh, does it have really changed your life in any point of oh, view in your yes, life? Oh yes, it has changed my life. It has changed my life. So can you please share with us? Um. Okay. So I'm here talking to talking to all of you, trying to help make better. Uh, not make better. I mean, trying to help. Uh, trying to help you by explaining stoicism so i can so hopefully i can help you feel less miserable in the future and how has it helped me i'm doing i believe i'm doing something useful that's one of one of the one of the things that i'm starting to doing some do something useful which i wouldn't do before i mean at one time i was very bitter and i did not like talking to people and i did not like uh i did not enjoy human existence i still don't but uh less can you guess i still don't like human existence um although i would say that it it isn't that i'm like i don't worry i do In fact, the, recently the problem is that I've I've stopped focusing. I, I mean, I want to focus on my work. I'm not as productive as I used to be because I'm worrying about things which really I shouldn't be worrying about. If I wasn't into stoicism, I would probably be in a corner in my room where all the lit, all the lights would be out, and I would just be having a blank expression on my face, depressed and miserable. So I'm here in front of you. That is itself. क्योंकि अभी जिस किस्म की जैसे कि वरीज हो सकती थी मेरी वो जैसे ही होता कि मैं आई वुड बी प्री मिजरेबल तो आई एम लेस मिजरेबल सबसे पहले तो बात ये है लेकिन ऑफकोर्स हर इंसान को अपने ऊपर काम करना पड़ता है आई 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 मीन आई एम नॉट एज प्रोडक्टिव एज आई वॉन्ट टू बी काम से थोड़ा सा फोकस हट गया है लेकिन मैंने फिर वो हालांकि स्टोरिसम का कॉन्सेप्ट नहीं है लेकिन उसके अंदर थोड़ा बहुत कुछ है कि वो वे प्रैक्टिस करता है इंसान द आर्ट ऑफ एफर्टस एक्शन which is the more i want to work the more i'll work less yani ki jitna main kahunga hai mujhe ye karna hai mujhe mujhe aaj kaam karna hai utna main koshish karunga utna hi kaam usse nahi hoga to i'm like damn it theek hai kaam nahi ho raha nahi ho raha theek hai bas dekhega dekhi jayegi nahi hota kaam to jab wo jab main aisa sochta hu kaam hona shuru ho jata hai khud ba khud hi khud ba khud hi client se wo kehte hain theek hai jitna kaam kiya sahi hai ab hum hum log इसके पैसे आपको दे रहे हैं पहले फिर ऐसा होता है कि मैं कहता हूँ क्लाइंट को प्लीज़ भाई ये काम अप्रूव कर दो जब मैं कहता हूँ ठीक है काम नहीं अप्रूव हो रहा ये ये लो अपना सोर्स कोड जाओ कहता है नहीं 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 हम लोग काम करते हैं चलो बस ग्रेट सर सर इफ़ यू हैव टू से द क्रक्स ऑफ द टू डेज इंटायर सेशन रिगार्डिंग स्टोसिज्म इन वन लाइन वट देट वुड बी सो देट वी कैन टेक अवे विद अस टेल योर ब्रेन टू शट अपट इट्स बॉल यू और स्लैप इट Not literally. Please don't do that. You'll get a concussion. <laughs> sir, 
सर मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि ये फिलोसफर क्या है और ये फिलोसफी हमारे लाइफ में क्या रोल प्ले करती है <laughs> Do you want me to repeat like everything that I just said from the very start? Uh, stoicism is a practical philosophy, and just the four principles, and four principles, and just go wisdom, temperance, justice, and courage. Keep it based. The rest of the things that you have, education, um, love life, getting married, um, the pursuit. Uh, to, I mean, doing things to get rich. Um, सोशलाइजिंग एवरी थिंग ये डिफरेंस में आती हैं जबकि वाइसिस जो हैं वो इन चीज़ के चीज़ इस चीज़ का अपोजिट है कि इंसान को फुलिश नहीं होना चाहिए इंसान को बद दिमाग नहीं होना चाहिए उसको जो है वो ज़्यादा ज़्यादा अपने टेम्पर पर कंट्रोल करना चाहिए उसको किसी चीज़ के पीछे ज़्यादा भागना नहीं चाहिए और इंसान को जो है वो हमेशा जस्ट होना चाहिए यानी कि इंसाफ पसंद होना चाहिए तो ये बात है तो फिलोसफी जो स्टोसिज़म है वो बेसिकली चार प्रिंसिपल्स के ऊपर है चार उसके उसको वर्चूज़ कहते हैं प्रिंसिपल्स कहना फोर स्टो एक वर्चूज़ हैं उनके ऊपर बेस्ड है जिसकी वजह से अगर इंसान इसकी तरफ तोज्जो दे तो ज़िंदगी जो है वो आसान हो जाती है या मैं कहूँगा कि इतनी ज़्यादा तकलीफ दे नहीं होती जितनी कि है अगर आप स्टोइक नहीं होंगे हालांकि आप दूसरी फ़िलासफ़ीज को भी वो कर सकते हैं स्टडी कर सकते हैं लेकिन इसके अंदर ये होता है कि ज़िंदगी ज़्यादा ज़्यादा इतनी ज़्यादा तकलीफ़ दे नहीं होती और इसके अंदर क्योंकि ये बेसिकली कह लें कि स्टोसिज़म जो है इसका कोई वो नहीं है यानी कि जस्ट अ फ़िलासफ़ी तो ये बेसिकली एग्नास्टिक है यू कैन अप्लाई इट एनी लाइक अ क्रिश्चन मुस्लिम हिंदू एनी बडी कैन अप्लाई इट क्योंकि ये इसका कोई वो नहीं है यानी कि देर इज़ नो गॉड सिस्टम इन इट बात है Uh, don't you think sadness and happiness is a choice? So the heaviest question came at the end, right? Okay, so what you do when you're happy and uh, or you're sad is a choice. So it's like when you want to feel sad, up, you sad a song, lagate, and you are like thinking of something. The brain is a thinking organ, of course. Again, when it comes to happiness, you are hanging with your friends out, and you feel happy. So yeah, I think you, that's a choice. Actually, your brain, it's it's. Uh, uh, I'd say that that's not a good thing. You know, if you're happy, you want to be more happy. That's dangerous. Just be happy. जहाँ पे आप happy हैं ना वहीं पे रुक जाएँ क्योंकि वो पे उसका मसला ये होता है कि balance ख़राब हो जाता है. तो जब आप न्यूट्रल स्टेज के ऊपर आते हैं तो ये स्टार्ट वरिंग ये मसला होता है चॉइस की बजाय मेरा ख्याल है गोल कहा जा सकता है हैप्पीनेस इज द गोल टू अचीव बट हैप्पीनेस इज इज अ स्टेट स्टेट ऑफ बीइंग स्टेट ऑफ माइंड समथिंग इन स्टोइसिज्म के पेराए में देखें तो मुझे अपने जहन को अपनी सोच को ऐसे ढालना है कि मैं वो स्टेट ऑफ माइंड अचीव कर लो जिसमें आई रिमेन काम एंड कूल एंड स्टेप टूवर्ड्स हैप्पीनेस चॉइस इन द सेंस बन सकती है अगर आप इसको डेस्टिनेशन या गोल के तौर पर लें कि मुझे खुश रहना है मुझे और खुशी बांटनी है उसके लिए अल्टीमेट गोल से दैट वो वो कॉन्सिक्वेंस इट्स कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ progressing in the four stoic virtues you will eventually be happy but it's a consequence of that like happiness is not the goal stoics jo hai ki freedom jo hai usko wo kya samajhte hain ki goal hai freedom eventually leads to happiness all all types of freedoms lead to happiness when you're free you're happy things are more certain when you are free basically so if i've bored you guys enough can we end thank you